Hi, my name is Keith Lawson. So my name is Forrest Tower. I am Jeff Grote. My name is Jeremy Smith. My name is Kyle Young. Uh, my name is Kim Christensen. My name is Megan Code. Uh, my name is Nathan Webb. My name is Mina Keela. So my name is Sam Fugier. My name is Adam Silverstein. I'm the incident commander here in Lillooet for the federal government. Information officer um, with uh, BC Wildfire Service. So this time around at the Unified Command, I was uh, the provincial incident commander. I have a few roles, but my main role is like looking at the natural hazards uh, on the site. Permit holder for the archaeology program working with High Bar First Nation. Deputy incident commander for the federal government with Fisher and oceans. I am the Situation Unit Leader. I've been here for three tours of the Unifying Command as the Environmental Unit Lead. But I have been here previously as the Logistics Section Chief. Document Specialist. Operations Section Chief. I'm the Deputy EU. We're responsible for reviewing the uh, daily plans for the uh, uh, upcoming day and making sure that uh, our key priorities for the incident, including making sure everybody works safely, uh, making sure uh, we're achieving natural fish passage, uh, monitoring the, the stocks to ensure we're achieving passage, and making sure our key objectives are achieved with the plans we develop each day. Organising and communicating the goals to the rock scaling crews on how to get down where we need to go safely. Organising all of the documentation from all the organisations, making sure it's collected, organised and kept safe. Support advanced planning, for the event and start uh, working with the demobilization of some of the uh, summer activities. My role is to uh, provide advice regarding fish transport. Um, we try to ensure that the fish that are being transported above the slide are done so efficiently. It's my job to keep up to date on everything that's going on during the day. So while everyone's thinking about tomorrow, I'm keeping track of what's happening today. Clients, mostly First Nations, I mostly work with Indigenous organizations, uh, hire me to help uh, work through the regulatory process uh, of archaeology in BC, usually in advance of development, but not always. And the environmental unit lead role has evolved over the time, but uh, essentially it's served as the coordinator of all the technical uh, expertise here on site for all aspects of the operation. I've learned mostly just about the, the whole emergency response uh, system, the, the program here. I've never been involved in emergency response before, and so just getting to see the, the structure and how everybody works together and um, to, to get the job done, so that's mostly what I've learned from the experience. So uh, for me, one of the, the most important things I've learned is how much uh, incident command structure can be used to, to get things done. And I think we've uh, learned some important lessons about how we can operate even better in the future with that process. So I think for these uh, complex uh, responses that require engagement from First Nations and different levels of government, this is the, the process we need to use. It's one of the very uh, first times, I think, uh, that we've tried to do this at this scale. The thing that I've enjoyed the most about this experience is getting to explore the, the general incident and project area uh, with the, the local First Nations field crews and finding significant intact archaeological sites that are sort of a direct evidence of their uh, history and connection to the land. I think I've just enjoyed kind of seeing all the different organizations meeting new people. Um, normally with fire it's the same familiar faces every time I get deployed and sometimes you do get a bit sick of seeing the same people again and again. Um, so it's been it's been good to, to meet sort of different faces in government and, and learn what other uh, organizations, both federally and provincially, uh, kind of do in their day-to-day -day job. So it's been sort of interesting in that social aspect, for sure. I've really enjoyed working with uh, multiple agencies. It's the first time in my career that I've had an opportunity to, to uh, work with different people, learn about what their roles uh, are, and um, it's been a fabulous experience seeing all these different groups get together for one common goal. It does get back to the people all about how to work with people, how to work with First Nations and other levels of government. I think the, the most enjoyable part of the incident command for me is the uh, how we've brought together all of the different organizations to collaborate and cooperate on this work. Uh, so at the incident command we've got uh, provincial, federal and First Nations. Uh, leadership, uh, providing uh, direction on everything we're doing, so all of those levels of government are involved. 
and we're really able to leverage the the strengths that the different organizations can bring to the project so first nations have been very actively involved in the uh, engagement uh, with the local communities uh, we've got archaeological monitors out there helping us and first nation fishing crews were helping us to catch and, and transport fish uh, bc government uh, and uh, the wildfire group has been amazing at uh, mobilizing resources and helping to get things done on the ground at the federal level uh, we've had coast guard and dfo staff that uh, have brought their skills particularly coast guard around incident command keeping us all organized and uh, DFO around the, the technical expertise uh, about what we need to be doing to help uh, restore passage for the fish. And of course, there have been numerous uh, technical experts and contractors involved helping with the, the work. So it's, it's been really amazing to see how everyone can really pull together for a, a common cause and to, to see what we, we've been able to accomplish together. The lessons I've learned is everyone has a different skill set and we're able to to pull a little bit from each person and to make a make a functioning organization no matter what area of uh, of government you come from or or different parts so it, it's been a pretty cool experience that way to to be able to do that as an as an organization and make this incident run uh, smoothly all summer long you kind of just have to make it work right you can have as many forms as you want you can know the process backwards forwards but at the end of the day you just need to work to get the job done and whatever that means you need to do it how to uh, create consensus how to get decisions made how to push things forward when you're working with such a diverse group um, of people and and the three levels of government all together um, five different agencies all together it really uh, comes down to that you got to work you got to work together to get to get to a consensus to to move forward so that's been a unique learning experience for me this is what I think we need to do and it's a half formed idea and then they go and help me and us all come up with a better idea and away we go and it's worked which is cool it doesn't matter where you're from that people can work together and get along together and when there's a crisis everybody pitches in to help so that's been pretty amazing the most amazing thing about this has been watching so many diverse people come together and uh, work insanely hard for a really long period of time away from their families and their regular work to to do something really important and really big i've enjoyed the town and, and seeing how the town has embraced all the, the visitors that they've had. Um, it's been very busy in town with a lot of people coming and going. Um, I've really enjoyed working with the province. So for me, this is new. The province is uh, amazing and the wildfire folks are just dynamic. They get the job done, fits well with Coast Guard's mandate and what we do. So I think we've, we've made a relationship that will be long-term, you know, going down the road with incident management. So happy to be here. 